Hello, and I've noticed a lot of people watching my uh, videos, and I thought I'd do something that nobody asked for, and create a review of Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. Um, I've been playing this for a while, I think I have about uh, 15 hours in the launch. Um, I will note that I do have about uh, 50 hours in playtesting, so take that as you will. Um, I was going to wait till I was level 50, but then I was like, might as well just uh, play a couple of games and get to 50. Um, so that is what we'll do, but first I wanted to just give my overall rating. Um, if you didn't uh, want to watch the full video, because I am going to play a couple games live and, um, you know, let you see, you know, what it's really like, comment on what I'm playing and, and all of that. So, my rating overall of this game is 8 out of 10. And as I'll kind of explain later of why it is 8 out of 10, um, the main kind of points of why I gave it the rating is it's a really great game. <laughs> you know, it has a nice uh, game loop um, in terms of you know, what you're doing throughout, the different roles you get to play, um, and, you know, for what it is, the three versus three players with, you know, the bots and taking on two different roles, it's actually quite enjoyable. Um, no, so that's just my initial take. Um, the reason I give it an 8 instead of, you know, a 10 is because, you know, I feel like the maps that they have are great. But, you know, on release, I feel like there should have been a little bit more. But I think they are releasing more as, you know, time goes on, as the seasons go on. If, and, you know, just in terms of, you know, UI and, you know, what we can select and what we can kind of customize, I think, that, that that can be, you know, a, a little bit more refined, but as of right now, you know, the, there's a, a free battle pass when you purchase it, so this is, you know, all that you get, and um, then when you pass level 50, you just get 10 um, winged keys, which allows you to go to the market and purchase, you know, the vault, because these are all worth 250, so I think the way that they're kind of approaching the purchasing system is, is, pr is pretty good. And the market, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but there's no micro transactions, which is pretty nice. So you just complete challenges. It's, it's kind of a different pr approach than most games right now. Um, but, you know, as you know, um, I've uploaded some videos of the campaign of, you know, general just, uh, um, general video. So right now we're gonna just hop in. You'll see kind of the uh, how long it takes to get into a match. And as we do that, I'll go to my team, which is pretty cool. You know, you can customize each of your different players. Right now, I feel like the memory of when you pick back up a game doesn't really stick. <laughs> so. I'll always have to like come in here and make this one my favorite, even though it'll like default to this key tracer right here. So that's one thing where you know it's probably just a bug that they need to fix overall. But be able to apply skill points. So right now my build is uh, reducing the uh, quaffle carrying penalty, so reduced by thirty percent. Um, and then I also have um, some other multipliers where I'm able to uh, um, gain speed when I uh, steal the quaffle from someone. And just to let you know, I am playing on a on PC, but on a PS5 controller. I feel like the controller is a, a lot more easier to control. Um, But, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can do just as well with 
the keyboard and mouse. Um, so as you can see, you know, we can open the game pretty quickly, but um, it's definitely like you'll get these um, matches where you're stuck in the in the queue waiting for people to, to join in and this may be because because I'm playing pretty late but I still feel like in most games you'll be, you'd be able to to join a um, a match so you know hopefully we get into a game here but if not then I'll either cut this out or you know let you kind of see how long it, it takes you know to just run into a match but but again like if we just take a look at this map like this is just the most basic one where it's it's the burrow it's where the weasley um the weasleys live and it, it's beautiful like this is like the most basic Basically, yeah, too many players have left the game, so you'll see. Like, we'll have those kind of encounters right now, but we'll, we'll try to get them a match. And and like I was saying before, so you can create your own kind of person. You have a lot of customization options, not not too much. The only um, kind of downside I'd kind of say is like when you're trying to choose a face, it's really dependent on your height. <laughs> you choose a different height, you get different face profiles. So that's the only kind of thing there. Oh, and I really hope it didn't save <laughs> what I was doing there. <laughs> but I think it did. So we're in a match, it started. So let's kind of let's kind of see here. Yeah, so they've got a goal. This is kind of a weird one. But let's pretend we just started. Or the Seeker as well. So the controls are, are pretty pretty awesome right now, like pretty straightforward. Kind of, you know, if you really think of Rocket League, this is pretty much how it is. But it's Quidditch, and I think that's the most important part. <laughs> You know, that's why we're we're all playing this game right now, so I think it's pretty awesome, so Obviously we're not doing too good right now, but I, I I'm gonna blame that to we got into a game where it's literally just started But in terms of the dual worlds right now like You know originally like to be honest like I didn't really like the the dual worlds, you know, I, you know, it'd be awesome to have each individual, um, each person as an individual uh, player. But right now, like, you do get some some awesome moments, you know, as as a um, as the dual worlds. But it would be nice, like, competitively and just in general to have like. The parts where each person has a role. You have the seeker just seeking the snitch the whole round, um, and then you have um, like your beaters or your keepers, like just like in their positions, like really focused. Because right now you're like you're half focused on each role, like f for the for the chaser. Like if you get to the point where like you have the coffin, but then the, the Snitch is revealed, like, like you have to make a choice of like, are you going to be like focused on scoring a goal or focused on getting the snitch? And like, like yeah, sometimes like that's fine, but oh, I missed that one. I should be able to get the snitch real soon. Um, one second, let me just, there we go. Like, I feel like you shouldn't have to make that decision on like, do you score a goal or do you catch the snitch, you know? Like, it should be the 
people, the person catching the snitch, is focused on catching the snitch. And that's that, you know? But you get put in those situations where you're either doing one thing or the other. Same with all positions. The keeper, or it might be a little bit easier because it's only when the call falls on one side of the field, but it's still kind of kind of a little weird for you know you have to make those decisions. Whereas if it's six of six, just like in soccer, like maybe the goalie's not you know <laughs> interacting the whole time, but you still have those moments where the goalie matters, you know? So I think I think when they add the 6v6 it's gonna be very like competitive, very impactful. And that's unfortunate. <laughs> but I've been having a lot of fun. I've I was waiting till I don't know if I already said this, but I was waiting till like I was level fifty, but I think I'm still level 49 and so oh, oh my goodness sometimes the cinch is hard to find there it is and so I've played a lot is essentially what I was trying to <laughs> make sure that everyone knew is that I've played this a lot I've played the original Quidditch game Harry Potter um, World Cup on the PS2 Loved that one. Loved everything about it. And I think the biggest thing of that one is like the um the maps there was like a pretty good decent amount of maps. And I just hope that they cultivate that in here because they have such a great game. Like it's oh I don't know how to look at that. They have such a great game here. Hold on, let me, let me try to focus a little bit. Shoot. We're gonna win this round. There, there we go. That's such good maps and, you know, a very different game than what this is. I think they did super well in, in creating, what, you know, what they created here. So, Ooh. so I just nice. Um, you know, to be honest, I lost my thought because I'm I'm trying to win this. <laughs> there we are. So biggest thing for this is, you know, I really hope that they provide some more. Yeah, they it changed my face. This that's, <laughs> but it's like, um, I really hope they add some more maps because the gameplay is amazing. If once they add a six v six like real, then it'll be a lot better. And as I was hoping, we are level fifty. So that's where I wanted to really be. Oh, oh, they they teased me. I'm close to level 50. But let me change my <laughs> my character's face cuz that's not what uh what I wanted. I think where was I? Who was it? this one? Yeah, this this is me. <laughs> but as you can see, like you can be whoever you want. So let's play another match. I'll be the beach at this time. Just so you can get another sense. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've made, if you made it this long, like, thank you for listening to my rambling. But, you know, I really wanted to just give my own opinion live. No cuts or anything. Um, I've been really enjoying this, like, 
Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple challenge. Just change every day, every week. It's pretty straightforward. There's, you know, some career for the tutorial right here. Mastery just overall, like, between different roles. You have your dedication overall of, like, how many, you know, online matches you play and just how many matches in general you play and win. Um, you also have um, the campaign, so the Hogwarts House Cup, the Triwizard Cup, and the Quidditch World Cup, and then New Heights is just the maps that we play on. Um, and at your season, um, I've already shown that. Uh, career, you know, the win rate is at 0%, so I still feel like they need to work on that. <laughs> Make sure that's uh, updated correctly. You've got all of your um, achievements and emblems here. Um, they need to work on like just recognition, like when you hop off the match. Like make sure that they, they, you don't have to hover all of these to show that I've already played them before. Um, yeah, but you know we'll play this last match. This will be my my last one, and then we'll be done. Cause yeah, I've I've, I've pretty much said everything that I've needed to, to, to say in this. Um, actually, this might be it, because the last thing I need to say is I'm playing on PC, and you know, sometimes, every once in a while, it's not often, but this will happen. You see the snitches stop flapping, and I can wait for <laughs> as long as I as I like here, but um, I'll just end it by saying, you know, this is one of the negatives. It'll happen where it'll just freeze. And I just need to exit out and come back in. Um, but other than that, this is the worst thing that's happened, so other than that, you got to see one kind of gameplay. We won. It was great. Um, I gave you my rating. So, yeah. That's, that's all I really have to say. I'm glad that it's only been, you know, 18 minutes, so... I thought it would be a lot longer, so I'm glad it's it's, it's, it's this long. Um, thank you for joining me if you listen this long. Um, I'm really hopeful for, you know, the future when they add more maps or they add more, you know, kind of fun challenges or cosmetics to kind of go through. Um, which I think they have planned. I, you know, they have some different seasons. I think right now we're in season zero, the preseason. So we'll see, and I'll be able to give an updated review once we get some more seasons out or some more content out. Other than that, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.